Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Fan Perspective. I'm your host Nathan Lyle, here with the 2013 NBA Playoffs Round 1 Recap, the series between the number 7 Boston Celtics and the number 2 New York Knicks. Game 1, I don't think there were any surprises here. There were times when New York dominated and times when Boston dominated. Boston held a lead in each of the first three quarters, but New York finished the game way too strong. Uh, both of these teams featured good defensive presence, but New York's offense was just too much and they pulled away in the fourth to seal the victory in 85-78. Then in Game 2, Boston came out strong in the first half and despite some turnovers and foul trouble, they still went into halftime with the lead, but the Knicks were too strong in the second half and dominated the last 24 minutes. Melo led the team with 34 points and everyone contributed. Prisioni led the team with 5 assists, Kmart led the team with 11 rebounds and 4 blocks, Knicks finished to win 87-71. And then in Game 3, the Knicks... The series moved back to Boston where KG posted a double-double and Green led the charge with 26 points and J.R. Smith got ejected in the third quarter for elbowing Jason Terry in the face and Melo led the team with 26 points. Raymond Felton had a double-double as well. The Knicks cruised to a, 90, to a victory 97-76 and at that point everyone's pretty much assuming the series is over. But then in Game 4, still in Boston, the Celtics came in looking to avoid the sweep and they played like the season was on the line, showing all-around dominance both offensively and defensively in the first half and had a huge lead at the break. But the Knicks came out with some fire in the second half and they fought back from the deficit behind a huge third quarter from Raymond Felton and were able to push it to overtime where thanks to some clutch playmaking from Jason Terry, the Celtics were able to hang on for the win and extend the series for at least another game. Melo and Felton combined to lead New York with 63 points. Iman Shurp, Shumpert, I can't even pronounce that, he contributed a double-double, 12 points and 12 rebounds. Paul Pierce nearly had a trip triple-double though with 29 points, 8 rebounds and 6 assists and Brandon Bass was second with 26 points, KG had 13 points and 17 rebounds and was also 4 assists away from the triple-double as the Celtics go on to win 97-90. to And Game 5, the series shifted back to New York, J.R. Smith returns from his one game suspension, Melo and Felton led the team with 22 points with 22 and 21 points respectively, while Smith came off the bench to contribute 18. But the Celtics ha had, they played well on both ends of the court, and they only played seven different guys in the game, and five of them scored at least 16 points, including KG, who scored 16 points and had a game-high 18 rebounds, a game-high five assists, and a game-high two blocks, as the Celtics managed to stay alive for at least one more game with a 92-86 win. And then Game 6, going back to Boston, the Celtics played with some desperation. Jeff Green led the way with 21 points. KG added 15 points and 10 rebounds. And they overcame a huge fourth quarter deficit. But it was not enough as the Knicks put behind 21 points for Melo, they sit, who set a franchise mark with 10 straight playoff games with at least 20 points. They hang on for the win, put the Celtics away. And... Now they're moving on to round two where they will host the Indiana Pacers. And a few milestones for you. This is these all of these things happened over the course of this series. Jason Kidd has now played in over 150 career playoff games. Kevin Garnett has played in over 130. Jason Terry has now played in over 90. Paul Pierce has now played in over 5,400 career playoff minutes and passed Dirk Nowitzki, Julius Serving, James Worthy, Reggie Miller, and Byron Scott to take 28th place all time. Kevin Garnett has now played in over 5,000 career playoff minutes. Kenyon Martin has played in over 3,400. Jason Terry has played in over 3,200. Melo has played in over 2,300. Kevin Garnett has now made over a thousand career field goals in his playoff career. He passes Bill Russell and Charles Barkley to take 26th all time. Paul Pierce now has over 900. Melo had over 500. And Jason Kidd has now made 236 three-pointers in his playoff career and is now 7th place on the all-time list. Paul Pierce has made 219 and is ninth on the all-time list. Jason Terry has now made 182 and passed Bruce Bowen, Danny Ainge, John Stock, Steve Nash, and Dan Mahal for 13th. And Melo has now made 60 in his career. 
Paul Pierce has now made over 800 free throws in his playoff career and is 14th on the all-time list with 816. Kevin Garnett has made over 450. Melo has now made over 400. Jason Kidd has now made over 360. Kenyon Martin has now made over 270. Jason Terry has now made over 240. Kevin Garnett now has over 300 now has over 300 offensive rebounds in the playoffs and passes to Kimbe Mutombo for 32nd all time. Tyson Chandler now has over 200, Paul Pierce has over 110, and Kevin Garnett now has 1157 defensive rebounds in his playoff career, passing Dirk Nowitzki, Magic Johnson, Scottie Pippen, and Hakeem Olajuwon to take 7th place all time. Jason Kidd now has 830 and is 25th on the list. Paul Pierce has 750 and is 29th. Uh, Tyson Chandler now has over 300. Melo has over 290. Jason Terry has over 200. Kevin Garnett now has 1,458 total rebounds in his playoff career. And he has passed Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley, Ben Wallace, and Horace Grant to take 17th overall. Paul Pierce now has 860, Tyson Chandler has 520, Melo has over 430. Kevin Garnett now has over 450 career playoff assists, Jason Terry has over 300. Jason Kidd now has over 296 career playoff steals and is tied with Larry Bird for 6th all time. Paul Pierce now has a 180 and passes James Worthy and Charles Oakley for 27th all time. Kevin Garnett has 169 and passes Jerome Kersey for 34th overall. Jason Terry now has over 90. Melo has over 70. Kevin Garnett has 181 career playoff bla blocks and is tied for 20th on the all time list. Kmart now has 130 for his career. Paul Pierce now has over two, now has 2,843 playoff points and passes Patrick Ewing, Robert Parrish, Ch and Charles Barkley to take 25th overall. Kevin Garnett now has over 2,500. Jason Kidd now has over 2,000. And Jason Terry and Melo both passed that 1,500 mark. Well, that's it. Uh, for the Celtic season is over and... With a lot of these players and even the head coach, we have, there's a lot of uncertainty. We don't even know <laughs> how much of that team is still going to be there next year. And just because of age more than anything else, because a lot of them are still under contract. So, For Celtics fans, I hope you enjoy next year. And for Knicks fans, I guess stick around when I, when I do my predictions for the Round 2 series.